Hi everybody. Do you find it hard to face multiple choice questions in listenings and readings or completely get disoriented? Do you oh get confused while making fine answer whether it is option A, B or C or do you remain struck oh no. at the initial or the present question and your complete MCQ exercise get missed? Or still, do you believe oh in spite of God. your best efforts, multiple choice question exercise in your listenings or your readings is not your cup of tea? So hi students, this is Parveen Khanna, your IELTS trainer and I will help you overcome this hurdle to guarantee glorious bands in your listenings as well as readings. So watch this video till end and students here is tip number one. Read headings of your task because often through tasks we came across the main idea which is going to be discussed in that section or that part or that exercise okay so that is very very important and here I am putting one example for you so I hope first point is understood now moving further to the second point students every question has a specific keyword which you need to find out as early as possible and students this point is most important of all points because I personally think if keyword is understood you will yourself be able to understand which question is being spoken like for example question number one is over two is starting so if question number three is over then question number four is starting all right and if anyhow you have missed one or two or more questions so please don't hover around move to the next question be ready with your keyword and listen to the recording carefully okay students third point now while underlining keywords you are to look for uncommon words or words which are dissimilar and keep one thing in your mind that common words will never be your keywords okay fourth point students often questions have question words and these question words can help you making predictions so there are so many question words like what when why which where how who how many how much how often so these words help you stay focused at the point to concentrate in your conversation so here are some examples in front of you okay students like in this case question number 12 you can see why is there statue of diana goes forth so why means reason all right and then question number 14 you can see when did physical transformation when is then talking about the time when it took place so when did physical transformation of path begin all right so that's why these keywords are very very important okay fifth point so often there are pauses in the conversation or between the dialogues and that way the speaker jumps from one point to the another point. So here is an example to illustrate this point. Come the legal owner. It planned to sell the land for housing. Many local people wanted it to remain a place that everyone could go to. To enjoy the fresh air and natural environment. Remember, the park is in a densely populated residential area. Diane Gosforth was one of those people. And she organised petitions and demonstrations, which eventually made the council change its mind about the future of the land. Soon after this, the First World War broke out in 1914, and most of the park was dug up and planted with vegetables, which were sold locally. At one stage, the army considered taking it over for troop exercises and got as far as contacting the city council, then decided the park was too small to be of use. 
there were occasional public meetings during the war in an area that had been retained as grass. After the war, the park was turned back more or less to how it had been before 1914 and continued almost unchanged until recently. Plans for transforming it were drawn up at various times, most recently in 2013, though they were revised in 2015 before any work had started. The changes finally got going in 2016 and were finished on schedule last year. Okay students, so point number six, you are to utilize your time wisely during your test because students, often it happens that after the end of the previous part or the section and before the start of the current part or section, there is enough time to go through the questions which you have and often it happens students that MCQs come at the beginning of any section or part. So here is again an example in front of you. And most of the park was dug up and planted with vegetables, which were sold locally. At one stage, the army considered taking it over for troop exercises and got as far as contacting the city council, then decided the park was too small to be of use. There were occasional public meetings during the war in an area that had been retained as grass. After the war, the park was turned back more or less to how it had been before 1914 and continued almost unchanged until recently. Plans for transforming it were drawn up at various times, most recently in 2013, though they were revised in 2015 before any work had started. The changes finally got going in 2016 and were finished on schedule last year. Okay, point number seven, students, you need to be quick at understanding or quick at reading because you don't have second time or second try to read. Otherwise, hardly you will be able to manage your questions and your recordings will start. So you are to practice readings as much as possible. And you can also practice this exercise before playing your recordings. Okay. okay. So next tip and a word of advice to you is to Remain calm and stay focused. Don't panic if you have missed any question. So in that situation, simply students, you can focus on the next keyword of your question and remain alert to answer that question. All right. So I hope my words are understandable. Okay. So further students, practice makes man perfect. And that is point number nine so practice listening as much as you can and you can take help of tape scripts if still there is problem with you and keep one thing in your mind students practice makes man perfect because that way you can overcome your problem of speed pronunciation and you can also be able to locate which sentence or which particular dialogue is having your answer and then students last but not the least if still anyhow in spite of using all best efforts you have missed the question then what can you do just make a wild guess because there is no negative mark in in aisles listenings as well as readings okay don't leave your question unattempted make any guess keep learning and keep improving so this is praveen khanna signing off bye bye thanks for listening